Hello, today we are meeting Volker Moritz again to talk further about continu continuum movement. And after the last interview, after talking about the history of this method um, and some aspects um, of, of it, uh, I'd like to talk about the real usefulness of this method. Mm -hmm. For example, releasing emotions. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, usually when we work with emotions, we focus on the emotion, we perceive or we are aware of the reaction of the body. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we clench the muscles and then we breathe and release. Mm -hmm. So how it goes with continuum movement? Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about emotions, I think it's good to see how it would be when you're like trying to talk underwater, so to say. Like it's a more diffuse way of talking. The same with the emotions. So when we would dive underwater and then have emotions, it's more, it's like passing through. They're not so defined. Mm -hmm. So sometimes what we see when people work with um, continuum, for example, tears are flowing, but it's not this intense sadness with it. Or sometimes a certain emotion can come, but because we put it in the movement, it, it flows in a certain way. It, it, it moves in a softer way than the, let's say, on land, heartfelt emotion. Does mm -hmm. it make sense in that way? Yeah, yeah, it make, makes sense. So it's like um, something between the Chinese methods of um, working with the energy, like Tai Chi, Qi Gong, where people um, move mm -hmm. according to their flow of prana or mm -hmm. Qi, 